All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to. Wait, what? Hold on. Level ten plus item equipped. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Disgaea PC. So I have to have that gun equipped before I can uh before I can continue. Well, that's fine. So he needs that level ten gun that I hopefully didn't sell. Oi, that'd be bad. Nope, there it is. Prince, I see you have a level 10 plus item equipped. I will now add Dinero Palace to the list of available areas. Once a gate is open, it will remain open. You no longer need to equip an item of level 10 or higher. Dinero Palace, sounds rich to me. Hehe, <laughs> can't wait to see what's there. Dude, we'll work hard for our paycheck. Okay, so we'll be robbing the blind. Now here's the thing. Uh, this is a good gun. It's a, I mean, it's a decent gun. But it's obviously not what we're going to be using here. So we'll give him his glove back. Uh, I could level up some more equipment at some point, but it seems kind of redundant seeing as we're going to be replacing stuff fairly frequently here. So before we go out and do anything, let's save. Uh, let's save a new one just in case. Okay, uh, I've had recordings fail today, so I don't want to lose any more. But also, meh. Uh, anything else? The answer is no. Those are some weird statues in the back. Oh, I see. I thought they had like dragon faces, but no, that's just the low res. Whatever. I actually really wish they had gone back and like remade some of these to be like higher res and really li nice looking. Oh well. Oh, there's no story for this one. I was expecting story time. The answer is no. So we've got a bunch of level fives. All right, so we are more than ready for this. Right, this is not Phantom Brave. What am I doing? Uh, so let's bring out let's bring out Flan as a leader as lead for a couple of reasons. Let's see. They are weak to fire. Well, somebody has been preparing for that. Okay, I'll bring out most swords. Let's see, do we want to do this? Nah, we might as well do Hurricane Slash. We've got some extra SP now. Let's bring out Etna. Let's do Skull Splitter. Yeah, let's just hit him as hard as we can. And honestly, I think we've got like a much more proficient team for totally dunking these people. Which is kind of neat. Uh, let's see, so... She doesn't kill them all, but close enough. And Laharl technically wastes Blazing Knuckle, but... Pff, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so it's gonna be... It's a bit of a personal m mission of mine at this point. To actually have Flan be kind of a powerhouse. I don't know why, but the last time I, I played through this, I didn't use her that much. And after the last... Um, after playing through Disgaea 5... I actually kind of came to the conclusion that mage characters are almost better in a lot of ways. The long-range attacks are super useful. And so the concept of having, you know, a really powerful long-range area of effect caster actually is pretty good. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see what I can do with it. So what's this guy weak to? Ice. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reach, am I? Alright, whatever. We'll just go with a... Uh, We'll just go with a concentrated front and go from here. Yeah, I hope we unlock, um... I hope we unlock reincarnation soon. Because I actually would like to reincarnate the Prinnies as, like, reasonable characters at some point. Maybe I already have it unlocked. Come <laughs> oh, that portrait. Maybe I already have it unlocked and I just don't know it. That's very possible. Okay. Oh, right. I don't know... Does she know how to heal yet? Yes, she does. Okay, I did teach her how to heal. Uh, so let's see, what are you weak to? Wind, ice... Oh, jeez. That guy's level 7, let's hit this guy with ice. Because I do want to level up her skills. And her! Uh, equilaterally. Okay, uh, so let's see. Let's get the guys with the bows, we'll go here. We'll do Blade Rush. That should finish that guy off. Let's move Etna over here. We'll do Skull Splitter on this guy, and we will have Laharl. Wait. Because we're going to want to do Tiger Charge, but Flan's in the way. I guess I could have moved Flan in retrospect, but we really don't need the bonus damage uh, from like comboing everything together. Okay. And this guy should fold. Laharl does a lot of damage. 
If he doesn't, I'll be a bit surprised. Hey, he's still alive. Good for him. Uh, I assume it's too far away for Grand Slam Man to hit with a pretty barrage yet. Just shy of. Alright, whatever. I don't mind that much. This will probably be a good time to uh, let Flan not do anything for a second. We're going to have her heal. Uh, healing doesn't give experience in this one. Apparently they revamped everything for Disgaea 2. Um, but I figured let's have Flan slowly learn heal properly just because. Okay, so we've got a martial artist and James. So we move Laharl out of the way. Let's just do another blade rush. She's probably not going to kill the martial artist, but she's totally going to kill the other guy. Yeah! And we'll have Etna do the honors. Just because Laharl can gain experience pretty easily. Everybody else, honestly, at this point is starting to get to the point where they can fight on their own without, like, dying or having to worry about relying on him. But it's a good idea, uh, as always, to just be, you know, mildly cautious about these things. Okay, uh, let's save. Just because saving between stages is a good idea, just in case I do something stupid. And promotion exam. Yeah, you could probably do that. I just want to see what I unlock. Maybe reincarnation is locked behind uh, X number of pr promotion exams. In fact, that's actually pretty likely. Which does mean that I'm probably not going to bother with it too much. Uh, reincarnation early on in the game. Not really worthwhile. It gives you a little bit of bo a bonus, but you bet you'd be better off just working on uh, leveling your characters. I used to reincarnate frequently, and I mean it does it does help out, um, but it's better if you wait until like the end of the game and you have the better grinding spots, because uh, the more levels you can gain between reincarnations, the better the stat bonus I think you get. It's been a while, and the mechanics change. Not with every game, but they change fairly frequently, so it's pretty easy to get confused. Okay, so let's see what Laurel is. Okay, the injuries don't last. So you can get shoe, belt, eyewear. Uh, cheaper, more expensive, military funds. Yeah, it's still nothing. We could go for, like, shoe inventory and whatnot, but I don't really feel like it. For the most part, we're not even going to be buying those things. Okay, so what do we want to do? Where do we want to go? Duh. Why is this isn't... Voice acted. What the? These are all from the castle. It was probably taken when the king died. So this place belongs to an ex-vassal. Hmm, this'll be fun. Hey, Prinnies, this is for your paychecks. You better work hard. Aye, aye, dude. Hmm... Netherworld printies are a lot different than Celestial printies. In Celestia, printies cook, clean, and do the laundry. But they're all the same on the inside. On the inside? What do you mean? You're an angel and you don't know these things? Printies have human souls inside them. Most of them were pretty worthless in their past lives, like murderers or thieves. They work as printies in the Netherworld and Celestia to atone for their sins. In Celestia, they do good do deeds for free. In the netherworld, they do ultra-hard labor for less than minimum wage. Once they've redeemed themselves or saved enough money, they can be reincarnated. I don't know all the details, but that's the basic idea. I see. But why do they work for money in the netherworld? You've never heard of the saying, money makes the netherworld go round? I don't get it. Is money that important? Of course it is! Jeez, you Celestians! Look, there's nothing more important than money, in this world or any other. Of course there is. Love, and friendship, and... Huh? What good is that stuff? Is your head full of flowers or something? Yes, I love flowers. Ah, oh, jeez, your head is full of flowers. Okay. Do I have voice acting, like, turned off? I don't think I do. Yeah, weird, they just... Didn't have that one voice acted for some reason. Weird. Oh. I don't know what that does, and that's a little concerning. 
Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to check this. I check this every single time. Yup, nope, still broken. I don't know if they're ever gonna fix that. Well, whatever. I don't care that much. Okay, uh, so we've got flowers. We do have this. No entry, no lifting. There's a lot of people. What level are they? Eh, they're in there. Okay, uh, let's do Flan because... Actually, yeah, since Flan has a ranged attack, we might as well have her lead in here. What's this guy weak to? Wind. Good. I wanted to train that skill up anyway. Uh, I don't think she'll learn any of the actual uh, damaging spells, which is a bit unfortunate, but, like, whatever. Uh, at some point, I'll apprentice a better character to her and go from there. And... Eh. Uh, can I do triple strike? Yeah. Can I do tiger charge? No. Triple strike it is. And then we'll have Etna and uh, Mo Swords go after the lower group. I'm leaving kind of the printies out just because they're gonna reincarnate at some point once we figure out how that works. And honestly, I just don't feel like grinding with extra groups. Okay, we might actually need a printie in here. Oh, that's fine. Ah. Oh. I will admit, though, I'm really looking forward to getting to later Disgaea games. Like, at some point, I'll probably play Disgaea 2. Honestly, they'll probably come with a PC release. Um, but sometime over the summer, I might go out of my way to play uh, Disgaea 4 at the very least. Oops. Went too far. Huh. Did not expect that. Target height problem. Shit. Well... Flan, you're on your own. Probably gonna get punched. Actually, it looks like the dumbass is going to be punching, uh, Laharl. Nope. Punch and Flan. That's fine. That's what we want to do. You know what? I will bring Grand Slam Man out. So here's what we're going to do. Seeing as... Wind ain't gonna work. Fire? Fire is gonna work. Is this guy weak to fire? No, he's resistant to fire. I'm gonna try and hit this, at least one of these guys. Uh, you're weak to fire, beautiful. Okay. We might as well hit, have him break the barrier. Okay, who needs more experience? Probably most swords, just because Etna gets special attacks and whatnot. And this will be good. Should probably have Flan do healing at some point, but this will be okay. And, worst comes to worst, she dies and whatever. I think she'll be okay, though. It didn't break. Well, that, what's up with this? No entry, no lifting. Oh, it just almost died. I see how it is. Guess I should have had uh, the Prinnies attack that remaining guy. Oh, well. We'll just bring him out. I don't know if I'm going to use him that much, but still. But yeah, eventually I'll probably reincarnate them into... Actually, I wonder if they are if they have like a direct master relationship. Or if they're completely on their own. Mentor, none. Pupils, none. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, so this means they can't transfer their skills around too much. Well, I guess I don't care that much. So he's also weak to fire. Oh, I should have had her heal. Well, when in doubt, pretty. Can't even pretty. We'll just wait. I'll have Flan heal herself. Because I don't like it when my units get uh, dunked. It's expensive. So we'll just pretty barrage the man to death. Uh, pretty barrage the man to death instead. Oh, it's been a long week. A lot of recording. A lot of things to do. Okay, uh, so what do we want to do here? We'll spread the front out a little bit. Probably not much, too much to do. Okay, so let's end turn. You know, I'm really curious. That is a male character. I'm really curious about how, um... This game's handled. I don't know if Prinnies actually explode in this version when thrown. I haven't experimented with it yet because it's such a, uh, it's such an expen- it, uh, it's such an expensive thing repairing a, uh, repairing a, um, no, not repairing, but, like, reviving a person, so I haven't bothered. 
But, uh... I guess an... Well... No, it doesn't count as an ally kill. So, I could totally do it if I wanted to. So I probably will at some point just to... Just to test? Because I would like to see if it's, uh... If it's a viable thing using Prinius' explosives. Uh, because a lot of people were, like, giving me shit for that. In Disgaea 5, but I honestly... You're still alive? Wow! I am nothing but surprised. Well, let's have... No, that's Dandelion. This is Grand Slam Man. We'll have Grand Slam Man stand over here. We'll have you. Kill that cleric. Took full hits from both uh, Etna and Mo Swords. You don't get a whole lot of dudes that are that uh, that bad, that rad, or that tough. Okay. Well, luckily most of the other enemies here are pretty goddamn chumpy. So actually, no, that Manticore I think does damage. Nope. <laughs> I guess it's really just the caster. I'm surprised Laurel did not get a counter, 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 counter. Those of you wondering why I said so many counters, you can get that high in this game. It's great. Okay, so let's have her go over here. We'll do Skull Splitter. What are you guys weak to? Uh, probably Ice. Can I hit him? There we go. Okay. Uh, special. She can't do anything. We'll just attack. Let's wait for a second. Let's see if uh, Flan kills the martial artist in the back. Uh, right, she doesn't have enough SP for a uh, blade rush anyway. Didn't kill him. Well, good for the pretties. They can just bottom feed as much experience as they want. Owie? Oh, that's okay. Uh... Who's the weakest of them all? Ah, we'll just have Grand Slam Man do it anyway. He's only got 6 HP, so it's not like it's, uh... Insurmountable. Though surprisingly... Uh, can I do that? Nope. Attack zone... Obstructed... Because of this pretty. Okay, so we'll do attack. We'll do Laharl over here. Tiger charge... We'll do... You're out of... You already attacked. Okay. I don't know if this is really going to make much of a difference, but we might as well throw that in. Okay. Mentioned in the last episode that I was considering playing uh, the Hundred Knight and Millennium... Uh, the Witch and the Hundred Knight or whatever it was. Probably not actually going to end up doing that. I might. But, like, not a whole lot of people reacted uh, to me saying I was interested. I guess it wasn't that big of a Nipponichi title. But mainly, I just don't have time. I've got uh, Hel Helcyon, Helcyon 6 coming out tomorrow. Uh, Black Sea Odyssey, Force Showdown. Got so many other games. I just don't have time for the ball. That is, like, the sad reality of a Let's Player. It's like, you know how you have all these games that you want to play? Pick, like, a couple of them. <laughs> Alright, uh, ooh, that'd be nice, but it's a wallet buster. Let's see if we can sell some things. The answer is yes. I should probably equip those, uh, shock and grasps, come to think of it. But yeah, we've got... Actually, I should check if that bronze sword is any better. Some of these are kind of bad in comparison to what I used to have, so it's like, yeah, let's sell them. Let's make some money. Let's buy this... Power Gauntlet. And let's do some tests. Okay, equip Power Gauntlet. Sword. Uh, 31. It's better than the Sword Breaker. Better than the Bronze Sword. Better than the... Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll give Grand Slam Man Shocking Grasp 1. Wow, these are good. I picked them up from, um... Picked them up from the item world. And it was very worthwhile. Okay, uh, is there anything else? Sure. I'll drop the muscle spirit off for the power belt and the amulet off for a fancy lid. I want... I think that was Grand Slam Man. I want him to be at least one of the tougher printies. 
Okay, let's keep going. Flashy passage. Ah, Prince, look! It's a portrait of my old man. Oh, so this is what Mr. Krzyzewskoy looked like. That's right, he was a magnificent overlord. Hmm, not even. I was ready to dethrone him myself, but he went down, went and croaked on his own. Hey, Prince, can I have it? Sure, go ahead. Come to think of it, how did he pass away? Choked on a black pretzel. Huh? The overlord of the netherworld died by choking on a pretzel? Well, it happened, so I guess anything's possible. Uh, this is the person I was ordered to assassinate. Hey, it's this stage. I think this is the first stage where I really understood the merits of grinding. And also having a very, very high defense character, because... Oh, damn! It's a lot of dudes. Luckily, uh, the archers aren't as concerning. When you've got a uh, flan. What's flan's defense? Only 53. Surprisingly, lower than Laharl's. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, nothing. We're gonna do this. I don't know if these guys are weak to fire. Unfortunately, it alternates here. It's not great. What the? That's an odd resistance to fire. Huh. Alright. Whatever. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put Laharl here. We're just gonna... Oh, not Tiger Charge. We're just gonna smack people... Actually, we want Laharl on the furthest. I'm just gonna line the entire team up. I'm not gonna try and... Well, I'm gonna lure everybody in. I'm probably gonna take some serious licks here, which I'm not exactly keen on. But I don't really have a choice. Most swords. I should probably reorganize my team at some point, too. Uh, technically I could get in for a blade rush, but whatever. That was actually kind of a sad punch from Laharl. I was expecting something a little bit more, uh, damaging, but guess not. Oh well. At least I think we get the counter counter. Yep, we get the counter counter. Okay, and let's bring out Grand Slam Man who has actually pretty good stats. Not Lahara levels, but better than most of the other printies. Okay, and Yagurn. Please be within range. The answer is no. Okay, screw it. Yagurn, Printy Barrage. I'm just bringing the whole team out, whether or not it's actually a good idea. Might as well just take as many cheap shots on them as I can. Okay, so I can hit any of these guys. I guess we'll just hit her. I don't even know what the uh, benefits one way or another are going to be. Hey, he actually managed to get a kill on his own. Go, go, Dandelion. Okay, uh, so what I'm probably going to do is, after this episode, load uh, Flan up with, with as many stat-boosting items as I can possibly get my hands on. And uh, just have her solo tank this one with AOE spells for a while, uh, just because I really like the I really like this level, and with like a high enough defense, you can just beast it all on your own. Uh, then again, we're pretty strong here. Like, like we're generally not having a whole lot of issues clearing levels at this point, which is nice. Just a little bit of leveling can go a very long way in this game. I did not kill them. Huh. Funky. Alright, let's have Dandelion come over here. Attack her. Special Hurricane Slash. Can't do much. Okay. That'll free some space up. Yeah, I didn't want to do anything until we had a little bit more room to maneuver and use, like, Laharl's AoEs. Okay. Though, between the two of them, they might kill... No. No. They're not strong enough. Okay. 
Let's remove here. And everything is good. We're gonna wait until he nukes these guys. Oh! One of those is the tougher variety. Does she live through it? Yeah, she does. Ooh, she actually is the appropriate level for this area. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't really care. I don't really have a whole lot of uh, worries about it. I like it how Laharl... I, I like team attacks, uh, but I like it how Laharl uh, helped both times punching that person. It's like, had enough of me yet? No? We'll have some more! I don't know. I don't remember. Is this one of those areas that you actually have to come back to? I don't think they do that to you in this one. Could be wrong. Okay, is anybody particularly injured? The answer is kind of. Okay, why don't we just do Power of Love? Okay, let's not do Power of Love for a second. Let's have Yagurn attack Rachel. Then we'll have Flan come out here. Do Power of Love. It's expensive, but whatever. Okay, this way we don't end up healing somebody that we obviously don't care about. One interesting thing about this game uh, that none of the other disguises do, uh, and I'm going to say to my knowledge, because they probably do, uh, specifically four, but Disguise 1 really gets into, like, how prinnies work, and, like, kind of the concept of, like, who and what are prinnies. Because, I mean, prinnies literally have, like, stitches in them. So you think you could like, open them up, and it's like, do they have organs? I have no idea. Um, and I kind of hope they get into that in more detail in 4, but obviously I haven't played it yet, so I can't really tell you. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to do pretty barrage. We're just going to attack. Oh, Flan has moved. So I guess we'll just come over for triple strike this way. Okay. I don't know when the archers are going to start shooting at me, but really I think I'm just going to set up Flan and just start nuking from a distance. Uh, but I, I, I feel like I wish they would do more time doing world building for the Disgaea universe. I guess this one kind of does it. Like, I'd actually love to play a Disgaea game that is set entirely in Celestia for once. And I don't think there's any game that does that. Okay, so the last one is you. You can move. We'll just stand him there. I don't think it's gonna save him, but whatever. Yep, there he goes. In retrospect, that might have been a bit of a mistake, but whatever. Okay, so you... Please tell me you don't. Well, we'll just try and kill her. There we go. Good for her. Flawn. Has ranged attacks. Unlike everybody else. Great way to train your skills. Might take a little while, though. But she can heal herself and do stuff. And these guys don't do that much damage. Oh, come to think of it. Oh, uh, we do actually have another character with a ranged move. I don't know how effective it is. But we'll do it. And then I'm just going to have Flan, for the most part, train her skills here. Now, these guys are fairly susceptible to wind, so we might as well hit both at the same time. Uh, but like in Disgaea 5, they establish that there's more than one netherworld. And in fact, there's a ton of different overlords, which I actually, I mean, makes a lot of sense to me. They, I guess they kind of get it in, uh, get into it in Disgaea, uh, Disgaea 2 as well, because there's a couple of, like, transdimensional overlords or whatever. Uh, but I'd, I'd really love to see, like, world building to the point where, like, you kind of know more about the entire universe? I don't know. It's just a thought. Okay. So he's weak to ice. So what we can do is I believe this will hit him. Even if it doesn't make any sense. Awesome. Can you still do Prinny Raid? Just once. Oh, that's okay. Good way to train range skills this way. Because with every level on Flan spells, at the very least, they go up in, uh, they go up in range. I don't know if they go up in damage. I don't know. They changed the whole system, so I don't... It's unfamiliar to me. But still. Okay, so let's do a heal. Uh, 
Might as well get this out of the way. She's looking good. Okay, we'll just wait. We'll hit her again, but it won't matter. Okay, it might. I think she'll be okay. What's the weak to? Ice. Using the abusing type weaknesses here. This is a good plan. Okay, you're good? No. I guess it doesn't really matter. Send Etna. Oh, it's probably not going to matter. I think Flan gets the final kill. Which is fine. Super overpowered Flan feels really good to me. Okay, so ice. Now, I know there's a secret ending coming up, but I've got to get 50 team kills to do it. Honestly, I'm probably not going to do it. I think just getting the mid-boss ending was kind of fun. Because uh, I believe if I kill the... Uh, if I have, like, a certain number of team kills... Uh, before this next upcoming mission... Uh, the... I believe Flan, like, sacrifices herself and then, then the game ends... But I really don't want to farm for 50 team kills, honestly, uh, which kind of sucks. Maybe I can find, like, footage of it somewhere or something like that. I don't know. Uh, either way, though, I'm actually going to have to do that tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Disgaea PC. And as always, thanks for watching.